you know everything's gonna be a breeze At the end we'll no doubt justify the means You can fix any problem with the slightest of ease Yes, please uh, We might find out it'll go to your head When you write a report on a book you never read But just your fingers, you can make your bed What's up, Old Bridge? I'm Gavin. And I'm Lola, and welcome back to Nightly Wrap-Up. It feels like forever since we've been here. With spring break, the senior trip, baseball, and softball trips, it kind of has. Well, we are excited to be back and start up the final run. It's crazy, but we are under 50 days till graduation. To everyone out there, it's fourth marking period. Stay focused and make the most of the year. Be great. Speaking of great, this past Monday was one of the great astronomical events of recent memory. We had a near total eclipse of the sun. Gab, you know when I'm with you, I feel a total eclipse of the heart. Aw, thanks, Lola. We are lucky enough to have an eclipse expert on staff. Here's Ms. Tuckman with more on this amazing natural event. Hi, I'm Mrs. Tuckman and I teach astronomy and today we are getting ready to celebrate a total solar eclipse um, in the Northeast, which is extremely rare. Here in New Jersey, we should be able to see about 90% of the moon eclipse the sun. And so what happens, as you see here, is the moon, as it goes around us, will block our view of the surface of the sun. And it looks like, because of their distance, even though the moon's really tiny, will look like that it covers completely the surface of the sun. It is an extremely rare phenomenon to be able to get to see totality of an eclipse like this, because even though they happen frequently, because the moon constantly goes around us, you have to be in the exact right path of the moon in order to see it. 90% of the time it happens over water, and there's nobody there to witness it. This will be the last one in New Jersey that we will see in the next 70 plus years. So most of our lifetimes we will not see another solar eclipse unless you travel to some destination to go and see one. We won't see 100% totality because of the Earth's tilt and where we are located. Um, but because we are really close to that exact mark where the moon's going to block out the sun, we will get to see about 90% totality and some pretty good weather to go along with it. So should be a great day. You do not want to look at the eclipse directly ever, ever look at a solar eclipse directly because the radiation from the sun can damage permanently, damage your eyes, and it cannot be fixed. So you have to wear your safety glasses. Hope everybody gets to enjoy it. The Music Man was an absolutely amazing performance. You really just love yourself, but it's true. It was an incredible performance, and we were there to capture all the action. Check out these highlights. God will give you our shirts and go back to the by the way, an amazing performance. Thank you. And there was another amazing performance in the gym before break as well. What was that? The exhibition of volleyball skill and passion at this year's Sasso Bowl. It was a display of volleyball acumen rarely ever seen before. You know the school volleyball team has won four state championships, well, right? I No, but work with me here. Check out these highlights from the Sasso Bowl. Hi, I'm Will, and we are here with 
what might be the most important volleyball game in Old Bridge history. Come with me. We are here for the Sasso Super Bowl. I am here with the one and only Old Bridge Knight. How, how excited are you for this upcoming game? The most important volleyball game in Old Bridge. It's exciting. Yeah, you know, I'm glad they asked me to be a part of it. We're having a lot of fun. Thank you. What inspired the playlist that you play as the DJ? Oh, a lot of research and listening to the public. Here with the man himself. Uh, this is the Sasso Super Bowl. How are you feeling about the Super Bowl this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm, re I'm really excited. I'm really excited. The competition is fierce. Uh, it's going to be interesting. This one could go either way. How are we feeling about the Sasso Super Bowl? Uh, yo, so we're feeling good. We're rocking. It's spring break. Yo, what's good, Sasso? I know you're watching this. Go, go, go. Can I interview? Can I interview? Can I interview? Can I interview? How do you feel that you just won the Sasso Super Bowl? Feels great, honestly, it's a big honor. You know, just came out here with my team. We did it, we did it. And that was the Sasso Super Bowl. I still stand by this, the biggest game in Old Bridge Volleyball. I had a lot of fun. I'm sure they all had a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see where it goes next year. Can I get you to say go Knights? Go Knights, thank you. I don't know if you know this, we have a lot of teachers and staff who have relatives who work here too. Of course I know, we have the Lonzes, the Bills, the Borellos, Monica and O'Mara. Who isn't related here? Well, our very own Jenna Castle set out to see which relatives know the most about each other. Here's It's All Relative. What's up, Overage? I'm Jenna, and this is It's All Relative. Today we're going to find out which relatives in Overage High School know each other the best. We have a married couple, a pair of siblings, and a pair of cousins who claim they're like sisters. Let's meet the contestants. Mr. Danico and Miss Monaghan, what is your favorite color? Green. 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 <laughs> Green. Blue. Oh. <laughs> Red. What? It's going my way. Miss Borriello, Miss Amico, Miss Amara, what is your dream vacation? Italy, uh, National Park, cross country road trip. Hawaii. Italy, definitely. Is it right? Uh, road trip to national parks. Cool. <laughs> yes! Good Play down. What is cars? Uh, Legos? Oh, God. What are you thinking? I don't know. What do you think? Buy them in Ohio. It's cars. Good job. Good job, coach. I don't even know. A soccer ball? <laughs> okay, so after seven questions, we have found out that siblings in Old High School and married couples in Old High School both know each other pretty well. That's about all for now, and as always, it's always nighttime in Old Bridge. We'll have a full update on all of our spring sports next week. Well, that about does it. I'm Matt. I'm Kaylee. I'm Gabby. I'm Lola. And remember, it's, it's always, always nighttime in Old Bridge. Bridge.